Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I was sifting around through the local Harbor Freight because I needed some supplies to finish out some workbenches for work, and I seen possibly one of the coolest flashlights I have yet seen. It's one of those flashlights that serves multiple functions. Maybe it's a novelty. I don't know. We're going to open it up and check it out. Take a look and see all the different options. And at the very end of this video, I'll tell you how you can win this flashlight. Because that's right, I'm going to give it away. I don't need another flashlight because I'm not so much a technician anymore as I am a suit. But um, just the same, I am I usually do giveaways. And I haven't done one in a little bit. And I thought this is going to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, this is the Braun 3-in-1 flashlight system. And I can only think that it is a take on the old flashlight, which you can see right here. I have used this one for years now. It has been amazing. And the thing about this flashlight is that there is only one option that I know of, and that is this head, you know. But it's got an integrated light at the tip. And you flick it on, it's got floodlight mode, and then it's got a different intensity, and then it's got this tip light. So this one's been functional, and it's been wonderful. In fact, this flashlight here, I had it above the ceiling one time, over an operating room, stuck to one of the I-beams. I came back 24 hours later to finish the work, and I noticed when I lifted up the ceiling tile that there was a bright light up there. I was like, what the heck? So come to find out, I had forgotten my flashlight above ceiling and it was still on and it was amazing. 24 hours later, it was still going. How crazy is that? So that is the old Braun. Check out the new one. So it's got a flashlight head, it's got a flood lamp head, and it's got this one here which is kind of like a bore light. It's got its own purposes. We'll talk about that in a minute. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see the quality of the components. All right, guys, I finally got the packaging open. It was a little more of a chore than I would have liked because the packaging has got two layers inside it. It was a bear. I almost knocked my teeth out, but here we are. I finally got it out and it's a very unique solution. I kind of dig it. I really like it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you get in the kit. There's the power head right here, which has got your integrated, what uh, what type of batteries inside it? Is it 18650? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say what brand it is, but it does have an 18650 cell in it, which is cool because you can change that out for another name brand if you'd prefer. Let's check out those threads. Okay. Not so bad. It's got a magnetic end, so it will attach. And it's got a power button. It's got your charge port on the back. And it's got a quick release right here for attaching different uh, light heads. So it, it looks like it's a nice quality item. Here is the flashlight head, and it's got a single LED in it. And it seems to be pretty well made. There are two settings for the light, two intensity settings. So since the intensity settings are here on the power head, I bet you that each one of these has got two intensity settings. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's right. Okay, anyway, uh, the flashlight is not focusable but it does look like it's got some waterproof o-rings on it and it does have some grease so it does smoothly connect as a, just a flashlight i would say that that's a pretty good flashlight and since it's got that 18650 cell it's probably going to last a long time i dig it just as a flashlight to sit in the tool bag why not now this is the light head that i use on my original flashlight and i really like 
the flood capability because if I'm working with more than one technician or if I'm above ceiling working on something, the flood attachment is so nice. And they did it one better this time. I can see that they put an eyelet in the end so you can hang it. That's actually really cool. And I also noticed that the head seems to be maybe a little bit better built on this one. The detents are nice and positive. They're a little bit weaker on my old one. It could be because I've got years of use on it, but the detents seem very firm. And on this one, it connects and disconnects really nicely as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, there's one intensity setting. There's two. Now I have dual LED overhead lights right here, so it's not gonna show up as well as it probably could. But that light head there seems to be pretty nice. I like the fact that I can change them out because I would probably usually keep it on this guy. The third attachment is going to be your uh, bore light. And it's called a bore light because you would normally look like down the barrel of a gun or down a tube and that would be called your bore. So this is a bore light. And the really cool thing about this is it's got a very nice articulation where it's kind of firm. Once you position it to where you want, it's kind of firm and it'll just stay there. Look at that, it's not flopping all around. Again, it's got two light intensity settings. Now the reason that you would use a bore light, let's say uh, you're working on a piece of medical equipment. Medical equipment is infamous for using a lot of stainless steel, all right? And with a normal flashlight, if you shine it into an object that's comprised of stainless steel or it's got a lot of stainless steel fasteners, you'll get a lot of direct reflection back at your own eyeballs. So it's always better if you're looking in some of those cavities around stainless steel to go ahead and use something like this bore light because you only want to shine light on the object that you intend to not on the whole surrounding area, because if you shine it on the whole surrounding area, your pupil of your eye is going to close and you're gonna see less. So it's counterintuitive. Now there's a couple times I know for a fact I could have used this one right here. One time was on a surgical table when I was trying to find some fasteners that were in the base. The base was entirely stainless steel and it just kept shining light back at me. I can think of a time when I was above ceiling and I had something plugging one of my overhead booms and I needed to see up inside it and I couldn't because all the light was reflecting back off all the shielded cables and stuff. This would have been so nice to just stick up in there and try and see if I got any cut wires or whatnot instead of shining a giant flashlight up in there and getting all that reflection back. The other time is when I dropped a cable down a hole and every time I tried looking down the hole with the flashlight, I was getting so much reflection that you couldn't see down the hole. So what I had to do is block off 95% of the hole so only my eye could see down this tiny little hole. And then I could finally start to make out where the cable was down this giant hole, this conduit. This would be perfect for those kind of situations because you only want the light ahead of where you're looking. You don't want it reflecting back at you. So this is a very nice feature. I dig this one. That one would probably sit in my toolbox. Meanwhile, I would probably have the flashlight in my tool bag. In my opinion, this has been one of the nicest flashlights I've ever used. I used to give those away for Christmas, the, the Braun uh, flood lamps. So I really dig that. Now, it also comes with a carrying bag, which is very cool as well. And in the carrying bag, you do have uh, loop hold downs for all the different attachments, which is pretty sweet. But you've also got this carry-in handle, which I don't know when I would have used this, but it does have a couple detents. So you can either hang it like this or like this. You know, it gives you a few more options if you're in an area that doesn't have a magnetic substance for it to attach to. Kind of cool. It's a neat little hanger and it seems to be pretty durable too. So the other thing that comes inside the bag is going to be your charge cable, of course. One of the best things about these Braun flashlights, you might charge that thing once every three months. And I use flashlights almost daily, almost. Now there's only one other thing I can think of that could be maybe a negative on this flashlight. 
let's say I have a power head like this and I go to pack it away. Now they did add a lighted power button. If you go and detach the light head from the power head, notice that it's still on. And I don't think that there's any sort of circuitry that's gonna time it out because that fl flashlight right there, as I said, it was on for 24 hours and it just kept going. It's entirely possible for you to stick this away in your tool bag and it would continue to be on, which I have to think that's gonna wear the battery down. So something to be uh, aware of if you buy this flashlight, be sure that the little power button there is not on because you would not normally know. If you detach the light head, it's gonna stay on. You see it? It is what it is. So everyone, that is the three-in-one Braun flashlight sold at Harbor Freight. It's not the cheapest flashlight in the world, but it's not designed to be the cheapest flashlight in the world either. It seems to be a pretty good build quality. They've thought of a lot of things other than the little power indicator and the possibility that the power head's gonna stay on when you put it in the bag. Who's to say, maybe I should test that. But if you guys would be interested in winning this flashlight, I'm gonna go ahead and do a drawing this Sunday, January 9th, and one of you lucky peoples is going to get this bag, all three of the attachments, the whole entire kit. I'll ship it to you anywhere here in continental United States. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below this video and you'll automatically be entered in for this video. Anyway guys, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I've done giveaways before and they went really well. I'm gonna try and get back into that habit uh, because I believe in giving back what's been given to me, which would be money from YouTube. So you see these ads on these YouTube videos, this is exactly what I'm doing with that money, is I do giveaways and I also uh, give money and tools to other biomeds, especially biomed ones, to help them get a good jump in the career. Thanks for watching, guys.